Elite Facts presents 10 of the deadliest plants in the world. 10. Rhododendron. Rhododendron is a deadly plant native to Asian countries. This plant is an attractive late spring blooming plant and the color of its flowers varies. Some are pink, others are violet, red, yellow, or white. But most of all, part of the rhododendron plant contains toxins. Andromedotoxin, grayanotoxin, and rhodotoxin are the main toxic elements found within the rhododendron plant. High concentrations of toxins are found within the leaves of rhododendrons. Farm animals are most likely to consume leaves and other parts of rhododendron. The different symptoms and side effects found in animals after consuming parts of this plant include vomiting, slow heart rate, and falling from exhaustion. The accidental consumption of this plant by humans also results in weakness, difficulty in breathing, loss of balance, and salivation. 9. Jimson Weed Now, now, there's no need to call out Jim on his weed addiction. All right, bad pot-related jokes aside, however, Jimson weed, also known as Devil's Weed, Hell's Bell, and Devil's Trumpet, grows across the United States, Canada, and has even grown on some Caribbean islands. The plant has the power to alter mind condition, acting as a powerful hallucinogen. But elements of poison can be found within most of all parts of Jimson weed, mostly concentrated in leaves and seeds. Jimson weed plants grow up to a height of 3 to 5 feet, and its roots grow long. The leaves of this plant also grow to lengths of between 5 to 8 inches. Cream or violet-colored fragrant flowers also bloom throughout the summer season. The toxicity of Jimson weed varies based on factors such as the plant's age, the climate, and the place it belongs to. The careless usage, especially by sucking juice or eating the roots or leaves of Jimson weed, will affect your nervous system, eyes, ears, throat, and mouth. Overdose could also result in death. 8. Sabira odolum. Sabira odolum, better known as the strychnine tree, pong pong, and the suicide tree to inhabitants of Southeast Asia, is a medium-sized tree that grows green and orange mango-looking fruit. But despite their delicious appearance, the seeds within the fruit are extremely toxic, as the fruit off of this tree contains the poisonous alkaloids strychnine and brucine. Just 30 milligrams of these potent toxins is enough to kill a healthy adult. The side effects of these poisons includes violent convulsions brought on by simultaneous stimulation of sensory ganglia in the spine. The plant is also ominously nicknamed the suicide tree because it was found to be responsible for over 530 poisonings in the Kerala state of India. Sadly, many of those poison cases were suicides, most likely because Carbera odolum is widely available in that area and its lethal effects are well documented. In these cases, the individuals remove the kernel from the fibrous seed husk and mash it with cane sugar to make it a sweet, albeit deadly, final meal. 7. Aconite. This flowering plant grows within hilly parts of the northern hemisphere, also known by its other names such as monk's hood, wolf's bane, and leopard bane. Most parts of the aconite plant contain poisonous alkaloids. The roots and rot tubers are extremely toxic in nature. Ancient Greeks used its toxins for killing leopards and wolves, hence the names wolf's bane and leopard bane. Aconite plants stand up to heights of six feet. The large blue, purple, and white mixed flowers are attractive and resemble monastic heads. The accidental consumption of aconite results in burning, vomiting, and diarrhea. It also makes variations in blood pressure, heart irregularities, and could even result in the victim going into a coma. 6. Sakuda also known as water hemlock, the sakuda plant is one of the most toxic plants that grows in North America. Sakuda plants reach up to a height of 2 to 2.5 meters, and they have small umbrella-shaped green or white-colored flowers. The plant also has a thick main stem that contains extremely toxic liquid. It is extremely dangerous for us humans as it will affect our central nervous system almost instantly. The poison hemlock and the other members of the same Apiacea family are sometimes confused with water hemlock. Both are poisonous, but in different ways. The roots and seeds of these plants are also toxic, mainly affecting cattle and other grazing animals. 5. Angel's Trumpets Botanists will tell you that members of the genus Brugmantia get their nickname Angel's Trumpet from their large, hanging, trumpet-shaped flowers, which can measure up to 50 centimeters long and 35 centimeters wide at their openings. 
Angel's trumpets are woody stemmed bushes with pendulous flowers that hang like bells. They are prized as decorative additions to the garden because of their elegant flowers. But aside from the cute little name the plant was given, or the fact that this is one of the nicest looking plants you could possibly have in your garden, ingestion of the plant is extremely fatal. This plant contains dangerous levels of the chemicals scopolamine and atropine. Don't eat it. 4. Oleander You can't have a list of poisonous plants without mentioning the oleander, as this shrub is considered by many to be one of the most dangerous on the list. Now, when you consider how lethal this plant is, it's kind of bizarre that it's so widely used as a decorative shrub. This bush pops up in parks, schools, and backyards all over the country, especially in the southern and western regions of the United States. Now, sure, you could argue that this plant might be nice to look at, however, it's definitely something that should not be allowed in schools, especially schools with very young children, as you never know who may start sticking leaves off of this plant into their mouths. Its leaves, flowers, and fruit all contain chemicals known as cardiac glycosides, which, while therapeutic in precise doses, can put you into cardiac arrest if ingested unsystematically. 3. Rosary Pea Rosary peas, also known as jaquerty beans, are piously named seeds that contain abrin, an extremely deadly ribosome-inhibiting protein. Rosary peas are native to tropical areas and are often used in jewelry and prayer rosaries. While the seeds off of this plant are not poisonous if you simply touch them, they can be extremely lethal if they are scratched, broken, or even chewed. It only takes 3 micrograms of abrin to kill an adult. That's less than the amount of poison in one seed. And it's said that numerous jewelry makers have been made ill or died after accidentally pricking their fingers while working with these seeds. Like ricin, abrin prevents protein synthesis within cells and can cause organ failure within 4 days. Slow acting, but still incredibly lethal. 2. Castor Bean Plant A lot of you watching this may recognize the name of this plant as it was featured in the show Breaking Bad. This plant is extremely deadly. Now, you might be thinking that the show over-exaggerated the effects of this plant and the beans that grow off of it, but no, what you see on the show is pretty damn accurate. Widely grown for ornamental purposes, the castor bean is an attractive plant that's native to Africa. While the processed seeds are the source of castor oil, they naturally contain the poison ricin and are deadly in small amounts. It's so dangerous that it only takes as little as one or two seeds to kill a child, and up to eight seeds in total to kill an adult. Ricin works by inhibiting the synthesis of proteins within cells and can cause severe vomiting, diarrhea, seizures, and even death. The poison was used in 1978 to assassinate George A. Markov, a journalist who spoke out against the Bulgarian government and has been mailed to several U.S. politicians in failed terrorism attempts. 1. Atropa belladonna Without a doubt, one of the most, if not the most, poisonous plants known to man, the Astropa belladonna, also known as deadly nightshade, is an extremely poisonous plant that is native to the Eastern Hemisphere. The Astropa belladonna contains several different chemicals that have the power to block functions of the nervous system in the human body. So, the plant is commonly used as an anticholinergic plant, used to treat diseases like asthma, muscle spasms, and excessive sweating. At the same time, the berries of leaves of this plant contain highly poisonous tropane alkaloid toxin. This plant is so toxic that it only takes as little as two or more berries of leaves from this plant to cause the death of a human adult. The scariest thing about this plant, however, is its appearance, as there is a large possibility of children thinking that the belladonna berries are actually just blueberries. The poisoning of belladonna shows itself with various signs, such as blurred vision, loss of balance, headache, hallucinations, and urinary retention. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.